Hi everyone, it's Arjen Reitz here and I'm here with Frank Music. We're here in Atlanta and we just saw not only Frank Music perform, because uh, he's a special guest on the Erasure Tour. So we actually saw Erasure perform tonight, which was amazing. Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, and they actually played a, a few songs from the new album that you helped produce. Yeah, it was, um, it was it's very weird seeing you know, music that you made being you know, played by a band. Yeah. But it's awesome. The, the time and experience that they've got and earned and um, you know the fact that you know Erasure has always been kind of cutting edge um, socially and musically and um, you know they've they've got a lot of stick for you know the way they do things and that's what attracted me most to, to the project and the way that I approached it because you know in their own way they're kind of very rock and roll um, you know uh, the the music content, the lyrical content is very deep, very intense, and I love all that stuff. And um, it was very easy to, to, to get into the project. And you know, they joined the month that I was born in 1985, and um, so they've been going as long as I've existed, That's which amazing. is that is equally as humbling as to just being a able to yeah. sit in a room. There's another big moment uh, coming up. This it's not only the tour, but it's also your album that's yes. coming out yeah. at the end of the month. Do it in the AM. Yeah. And I remember the first time that we actually met was here in Atlanta, where you yeah. were um, doing some recording. Um, and I heard one of the songs that made then the that made the record that has quite changed quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but do it in the AM. This is a big moment for you. It's your second album. It's yeah. been long in the making. This this record, you know, I escaped to the other side of the world. I, you know, to find myself, I mean, you've got to give, give the guy a chance. I mean, I, I, only a year and a half before making that record was, you know, working in retail in a shop. You know, I, I never said to myself, I'm a, a well-established music producer, pop singer, but um, it's something that I had to grow into while I was in Los Angeles and I had the headspace to do it. So this record is a much more, I think, practiced record. You know, I, I know what I'm doing in the, in the studio more now much more confident songwriter. I think that comes across in this new album. Yeah, yeah. So you released actually on SoundCloud uh, a medley of the album. Yes. And there, there's a few songs that uh, people have really started to respond to. Not yeah. only the new single, no, no ID, which people love, but also Struck by Lightning, yeah. uh, Wrecking Ball. Um, those, are, those are some of the songs that people are really gravitating towards. Yeah, I think um, Struck by Lightning has a lot of classic Frank music sounds in it. Has a lot of the uh, sort of uh, Commodore 64 chip, SID chip stuff, um, and you know it's it's one of those kind of choruses, bittersweet choruses, like three little words. It's you know it's got this beautiful music, but it's a very sad context, and it's it's one of those fast-paced songs that I'm, I, I love doing. You know the funny thing for me was like I generally do a lot of songs at 145 BPM, and then dubstep kind of exploded at 145 BPM, but it was half they're doing it. So I'm, I'm like bringing dubstep tempo up to fast forward mode. <laughs> I mean, I spent time in your in your studio in LA. We met uh, last at Church Street London. We met at South by Southwest. Um, and it's great to see how you have progressed. This new album sort of represents um, a lot of, a, a big moment for you. Oh, yeah. it, it is the beginning of a moment, but also the ending of a creative moment. Absolutely. I think when I approach albums, I don't approach it as singles. I approach it as like a, an art exhibition, you know, you just, you take over a space for, for a, you know, a period of time and you fill it with stuff and you take it away again and then you, you start again. And um, that's, that's how I like to treat albums. I think I'm an album artist. Um, I like the people to listen to a journey rather than just that one isolated moment. I still believe in an album. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations with the tour with Erasure. Thank you. The album uh, that you did with Erasure. And of course, congratulations with Duty in the AM. Thank you. Thank you.